Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela Braniff and today I've got a Target haul. I don't really normally do videos like this, but I'm going to be honest with you. I just really missed you guys. I have not seen you all week. I have not put up videos all week. It has been a completely crazy, overwhelming in a good way, um, but very, very busy week. If you saw my last video, then you know that uh, this week I launched my book baby into the world and it has been uh, really fun and really amazing, but also just like go, 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 go. And so I haven't had a chance to like, I haven't even had a chance to like live life normally that I would film normal content to edit and put up. Um, and so today I had to go to Target because we desperately needed diapers and wipes. To be honest, it was one of those moments where I went in with my cart and I said to myself, self, you should probably not peruse the aisles, but the arrows direct you where to go. And I just followed the arrows, you know, and they directed me right down lots of aisles that I didn't intend to go down. So what ended up happening is what I'm going to now lovingly refer to as like some kind of quarantine amnesia target shopping where I got some stuff, some things, somewhat random arguably, and I thought we would just do a little Target haul. If y'all hate this and you're like, never again, don't ever do this again, uh, that's fine. <laughs> but I figured, why the heck not? Let's give it a whirl, just a quick little Target haul. Really, I'm looking at this as like a little friend time. We get to hang out together. I haven't seen you guys all week. I miss you, so we're just gonna chat as friends. I'm gonna share with you guys what I got at Target. I do, before we jump in, wanna say a huge, huge thank you um, to those of you who have ordered the book on Audible or on Amazon or wherever um, it ships to you, Barnes & Noble, Target, all of those different places. I am so, so, so grateful. This week has been, uh, like I said, kind of crazy and nuts, but also in a really, really good way. And it's been so fun to see, you, to read your reviews, um, the comments that you guys are sending me about enjoying the book. And and to see the book doing well. The book has been a bestseller this week on Audible and Amazon, both here in the US and the UK. Um, they finally got it stocked back in the UK, so that was awesome. Uh, but it's just been really fun to see and, and hear how much y'all are enjoying the book and seeing you guys share with me when you get your book and people are like buying one for their sister or their friend or their mom for Mother's Day or a friend for Mother's Day and sending me notes and stuff. And it's just been overwhelming and like lots of love and my cup runneth over and I just want you to know how much I love and appreciate you. And this week has been so special. All the years of hard work that I thought might be um, sort of overshadowed by this virus and pandemic and everything and feeling like, you know, just being concerned about how to navigate the process of releasing a book during something like this. And you guys have just made it so special and wonderful for me. And I'm very, very grateful. So that's that. Let's move into the Target haul. This is in no particular order, by the way. Let's just, okay, let's just start here with a couple of basics. Wipes, which you can, you can see that we already had to dig into because we were completely out, which is why the Target trip had to happen ASAP. And then some diapers. I actually got three boxes of diapers. Um, it's, it's a lot to diaper three. We've got three children in diapers currently. Uh, probably begin the potty training process pretty soon, um, but I need the time to dedicate to it. If you guys, uh, the way that we potty train is like short and intensive. Um, so I need the like short intensive time to, to potty train. So we'll get there because right now we're buying a lot of diapers. In other news, Mr. Benjamin, I feel like is finally ready to start attempting um, some, some food. Uh, we usually do like baby led weaning type thing. Um, so we don't usually start with like, like uh, pureed baby food. I'll probably start giving him some avocados and other things this week. I'm gonna vlog it because I love having that stuff to look back on. So I'm gonna vlog it and put it up on our vlog channel um, when I do, but I don't know. Do you know sometimes you just buy things because it makes you feel like special, like we're getting there, you know? Um, so. I got him some of these banana rice husks because all of my kids have really liked having these to kind of hold on and chew and they dissolve so it helps with like chokeableness. These I probably will not give him yet, but I just got them anyways to put in his little stack of stuff that he'll probably try in the next few weeks or month or so, just depending on how he's handling uh, the food items. But these are the Happy Baby Puffs, the banana and pumpkin. I probably need to actually hide those because my other children will eat them they love baby snacks. I think that's why my kids are always wanting us to have more kids and more babies is because that span where we buy baby snacks, they all love the baby snacks. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna make myself sound really weird here, but when I was a kid, sometimes I would buy 
my mom would let us get <laughs> jars of baby food, like the banana puree baby food, and I would eat that. That's probably weird. I probably shouldn't tell you that, but I did. A few more like unfun things. I got some more magic erasers. Things have been so nuts that I have not done my, my big deep clean that I usually do this week. And so I'm about to go, when I'm done filming this video, I'm about to go change my clothes into my sweats and comfy clothes and go ham on my house cleaning um, everything that has been collecting dust and hair. If you have a lot of children and or pets with hair that sheds, it's, it's, on, it's like impossible to stay on top of it. But anyway, so I got some of those. And then I just grabbed some Windex. Again, you're at the mercy of what's still available in the store right now. But I will say that uh, the Method glass cleaner, I don't love. I don't feel like it works very well. We've been using the Truman's products for months and that Truman's glass cleaner is the best glass cleaner I have ever, ever used. Kind of those funky shaped bottles that you guys see me use in some of my organization and cleaning and decluttering videos. It's that Truman's brand and it's like a, we had like a six month supply. I need to order it again is my point. You just get like the little capsule things and you put them into the bottle. It's, it's such like a genius um, product and I love it and I just need to go and order more. But in the meantime, I just got some good old Windex because I need to be able to clean glass and that method cleaner just doesn't do a very good job. I like lots of the other method cleaners. It's just their glass cleaner doesn't work well for me. Uh, they got me at the checkout with this one. Saw this uh, National Geographic and there were two actually there that I was eyeing and I ended up going with this one. You guys know I'm, I'm a real weirdo when it comes to what I read, the books I read and stuff like that. Um, and I just, I love history, all kinds of history. Like that's my favorite thing to read about and learn about, particularly like covert cults, organizations, like all that kind of stuff. The, the, the fringes of like society where people do really bizarre and weird things is fascinating to me. Um, so anyways, I thought this would be a good read. Plus I can probably pull stuff out of here to be able to use um, during homeschool too. So love a good National Geographic. As I mentioned, Benjamin potentially starting um, some solid food. So I got some of these bibs, the kind that you just pull over their head and they're basically like a giant towel. Cause I feel like knowing him and like the kind of like aggressive baby he is, I think that he's gonna be one of those kids that gets food everywhere. When you give him water in a cup, he's gonna pour it all over himself. So I think these type of bibs will be our best bet for him. So I just thought this was really cute, happy camper. I can't wait till we can go back in our camper again, you guys, and Benjamin gets to go. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, and this just has like a little moose and campers, how cute is that? Moose eye, I'm just kidding, I know it's moose. But anyways, follow my tracks, ah, cute. Thought those were adorable. And I saw these on the sale clearance rack for the twins and I, I need to get the kids summer clothes, all of them all of them need clothes. And I've been hoping that we'd get to a place where stores could open back up so I could do some secondhand thrift shopping and stuff. Um, but stores seem to be nowhere near opening up at this point. Uh, so anyways, I saw that these were on clearance um, and I think they were like $8 each, yeah. And I just thought these were really cute, these little maxi dresses. So I got one for each Ivy and Amelia. So they'll have those little cute summer dresses. I liked the colors and everything. I thought those were sweet. And this is where Angie went wild, okay? This is where Angie went wild. Um, I got some of this Carol's Daughter uh, Cocoa Cream uh, Curl Quenching Deep Moisturizing Mask for very dry, curly to coily hair. So as you guys know, with hair cutting places, salons and stuff being closed. The boys haven't been to the barber in a very long time. Their hair is getting a lot longer than we usually keep it. And uh, with them playing outside so much and getting really dirty, so they're getting really frequent um, hair washings and stuff like that, baths and all of that. Like I just feel like their hair is really starting to dry out. So I thought I would try this and uh, basically it's just a moisture mask that you could just leave on. But when I looked at the directions, you can like put it on and then put a shower cap on and then do some like steam and stuff to really help, I assume like open up the hair follicles and get in there in like deep, deep condition. So we're gonna do a little, I did a little like mom salon a few weeks ago uh, and uh, painted the twins and Rosie's toenails and stuff like that. So, and I've dyed the girl's hair, Kennedy and Shelby's hair, we've done different stuff. So the boys are gonna have their turn for their little salon time and we're gonna do some moisture masks on their hair. Hopefully that will help. I am completely out of my moisturizer. I'm gonna tell you guys, <laughs> I bought this moisturizer from Drunk Elephant. It was very expensive. I'd heard really good things about it and I had bought their retinol. And so I bought this moisturizer with it 
that thing was gone so fast. I, t I made my husband take it apart because it's the kind that you like push down on the top and the product comes out. I made him like take it apart, like get a knife and cut it open because I was convinced there had to be more product under there that just wasn't coming out. And he got it apart and there was nothing left. It was bone dry. I mean, I ordered, I think three products at the same time that I got that. And the other two products, I'm not even like a third of the way through. So that moisturizer for me, as much as I loved it, it was way too expensive for how short it lasts. Like I have to, I'm, I'm just not gonna buy that kind of moisturizer every month. So anyways, I was at Target. I knew I needed a moisturizer. So I thought I would try this one, the Olay Regenerous. This one has retinol. This is retinol 24. I need like a really intense moisture because my skin is very dry. So I thought I would try this. Vitamin B3 plus retinoid. So... We'll see. Uh, I don't. I don't usually buy skincare at the like at the drugstore or Target or whatever anymore. Um, I, as I've gotten older, have made the decision to like invest in my skincare, uh, and I feel like it's made a big difference. So like I feel good about that. But the drunk elephant was like too much of an investment. So we'll see if I like this one. Got a new razor. They didn't have the one that I use and have loved forever. I did a brand deal over on our vlog channel last year, or maybe even the year before, um, for the Fab Razor, the one that you can go back and forth with, the blades go both ways. I love that razor. I have, I have not strayed from that razor um, since then, but they didn't have any. I'm sure this one's totally fine, but I really like that other razor that goes both, uh, both directions. I feel like it gets a really close shave, especially if you're shaving certain areas like bikini areas and armpits. It just does a really good job of getting like a really nice smooth shave um, without giving you like razor burn. Also deodorant. I am desperately trying to find a natural deodorant. I've tried the Toms. I've, I've tried so many of them and they just do not work for me. I'm just somebody that like does not want to feel sweaty or smell sweaty. It's just part of my, I think like sensory stuff too, is there's just certain things I can't tolerate. Um, certain types of bras, certain cuts of shirts, where pants hit me on my waist, like all those kinds of things like drive me nuts. And uh, armpit sweat is one of those. My armpits start to itch and I can't stand it. Um, so anyways, I've used this years ago and I thought I, thought I remembered liking it. Um, so I was gonna try it again. This is the uh, La Vanilla, uh, healthy, the Healthy Deodorant Pure Vanilla Natural Formula. So I thought I would give this one a whirl again since the last one I bought there. I think I bought a native one before and it's okay, it's just I feel like I have to like reapply it so many times per day. So I'm gonna give this one a whirl again um, and see if I like it in place of, you know, to, to be like a good natural deodorant. I also really needed some new shampoo and so I alternate with my like thinning hair shampoo, that one that I've told you guys about before that has like the really strong peppermint smell. Um, I use that one and alternate it with something that has like a color protector or color extender or something like that in it. So I just picked up a bottle of this Redken one at Target, uh, color extending shampoo. Although who we kidding? Mom has not had her hair colored in a really long time and it shows. This whole time during quarantine, I have literally put so many different like color conditioners and glosses and things on my hair, trying to cover the grays and trying to cover the roots and stuff and nothing has nothing has worked and like lasted. It'll color this part of my hair and change the color of this. I did that Kristen S like uh, rose gold one. It made my hair look kind of like pinkish or more intense red. You could probably see that in the last video. It looks like a red red. That's from that rose gold stuff, um, but it doesn't do anything for this situation up here. So I decided to, and now this, I will be honest guys, I've bought things before that have made me feel like Oh, anti-wrinkle, like I feel like I'm getting old. Now I officially feel like, all right, getting old. I bought a root touch up and I bought two because I thought I don't wanna have to go back later if one of them doesn't work. Um, so especially cause it's I'm like unclear since I'm not a brunette or a blonde, uh, which one will work best. So I got this one from Clairol Root Touch Up, color blending gel in like a light brown. Um, to me that looks very, like it could potentially work. And then this one says matches dark blondes. This one is from L'Oreal uh, and that's a root touch up as well. So they only last, this one says it's permanent. This one says it lasts 10 shampoos. 
At this point, I don't know when I'm gonna be able to go to the hair salon and I don't want to go to the store and buy box dye and color my whole hair because I, I'm fine with this. I just wanna fix my roots up if I can. If I can't, we'll just deal with it. It is what it is, but I'm at least, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna go down without a fight, you know? I'm gonna fight the gray hairs for a while longer. I'll let you know if either one of these work and if I like either one of these. Oh, this was another product I got for the boys. Um, this is a Cantu Shea Butter Tea Tree and Jojoba Oil and Scalp Oil. I just thought that this looked nice. Again, I just need to get some real moisture down in there and I like that this kind of has this pointy tip and lets you kind of go through the hair and really get um, some moisture and stuff in there and it helps protect against breakage, conditions scalp, and encourages growth. So I thought that would be a good product to try on their hair as well. I'm always, I use pretty much consistently the same products on their hair. I saw a new brand at Target today and I posted about it on Instagram and asked if anybody had heard of it because I haven't before. Um, I use kind of consistently the same either Cantu or um, Carol's Daughter brand for the boys' hair, but, um, but I saw this new brand in marketing. You know, the packaging looks really pretty. It's a really affordable price, but I'm waiting to hear if people say they've tried it and they like it before I buy any of those products for the boys. But I'm just always kind of mixing things up a little bit and trying to see like what works best um, for each of their hair types. Their hair types are very similar, but there's some subtle differences. And so uh, just trying to figure out like what works best and um, especially as Benjamin's hair is getting longer too, and now he needs some certain hair products and stuff, so we shall get there. Okay, the other thing is, I'm already out of that Chlorine dry shampoo. I'm sad because I don't know what to do. I love that stuff so much and it works so well, but it's not a cheap dry shampoo. It's not a four or five dollar one. And it only lasts me a couple weeks, a few weeks for one bottle. And I want to say it's like $22 or something. So I felt like oh, I need to try some other things and see if I can find something else because I love that one so much, but I'm not going to buy a bottle of 20 something dollar dry shampoo every two or three weeks. Uh, so I just got some little sample size ones at Target to try. This is the Not Your Mother's Plump for Joy bodybuilding dry shampoo. Um, and then I also got the Kristen S one. I feel like I've tried this one before and liked it, but I cannot remember. So I'm gonna try these. I'm really sad, you guys, I'm really sad. Like I wish that, you know, like NASCAR drivers get sponsored and then they just like wear the brand all the time, at, like, or put it on their car or whatever. Like, can I, I'll wear a shirt that says Clorane. Will Clorane just send me a lot of their dry shampoo? Cause I love it so much, but the price point hurts my heart and I just can't do it. Okay, I also got some lotion because I'm a scaly bee. I'm a scaly girl and I need lotion, a lot of it. And I really like this Neutrogena. I've had the Hydro Boost uh, moisturizer for your face and it does not deep moisture enough for me on my face. I need like real, real deep. But for my skin, I thought I would try this because I usually mix my body moisturizers with oil as well. Like, and I usually use the Neutrogena, that light sesame oil, um, oil and I mix it with lotion and voila. So anyways, I saw this and thought I would try it. I needed some new lotion. I also have that purple lotion that is sold at Target, that Flamingo brand. They put it with the razors and I love it. It smells so good, but it's so hot. Maybe I just got a bad bottle, but it's so hard to get out of the bottle. Like you push the thing down and it's like, gives you a little bit and you gotta push it down again, gives you a little bit. And then the thing takes forever to come back up. I don't know how to explain that really that makes sense but like this little thing you push down like you push it down and then it like slowly comes back up. so it's like a process you have to have patience to use that lotion if you want to use it all over your whole body and i don't have time for that so i thought i would try this um to see if i can solve my scaly skin problems without being frustrated by a lotion bottle that is slower than molasses. All right, I think that's it, y'all. But you can see we got a little crazy. It's a lot of random stuff in here. I went in for diapers and wipes, to be fair, and the rest of the things just jumped into my cart. I don't know how it happened, but it happened. Please tell me that I'm not alone in the like first time you're free and you see people and you go out to the store and you're like, oh, people, and then you end up staying in the store longer and buying things you shouldn't buy. Uh, but Target had like all the arrows of the directions you could go and everything. So it was like you still weren't really even seeing people because looking at everybody like this just feels like so impersonal. We'll get there. We will get there, guys. They will let us into the out at some point. We will be in the out. And I will be very excited about that because mama needs some fresh air. I just found out that South Carolina, 
uh, we're in North Carolina. South Carolina has opened their state parks. And I told Sierra, I was like, maybe uh, we need to load the kids up and uh, go to the state park and just get out and walk and get some fresh air. I mean, we play outside and we're getting fresh air, but there's just something about like, going to a destination to do it instead of in your backyard all the time that makes it feel more special. So I'm like, maybe we'll pack a lunch and go have a little picnic or something like that. I think I need to start getting creative because I'm starting to go a little bit stir crazy. And especially now that we're through book launch week and everything, I'm like, okay, I need to, well, we still got a few more days left of book launch week, but you know what I'm saying. I need to, um, I need to like start feeling like we're doing some, some somewhat normal things or at least getting creative to make things feel normal, if that makes sense. So that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I promise I'll have some more typical type content. We still need to film, I think, one more dinner and then we'll have enough. We usually try to have three meals when we do the dinner uh, videos. So we've got to film one more dinner and then uh, we'll have enough to do another one of those videos. And I'm also getting ready to do, I don't know if you see my freezer behind me, but I got a deep freezer and starting to do some stocking up. So um, I'll share that with you guys. And I got to go to Costco and do like another massive grocery haul. So I'll be sharing that. Uh, lots of good stuff coming up. But that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for being here. And again, thank you so much um, for just being so great and supportive. Uh, Y'all have made this book launch so special for me and I am just eternally, eternally grateful. Thank you so much. Love you guys. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye.